Hey guys, Hop here for TFB TV. We are at Chacho 2024 talking to Mike at H&R. You guys have been following the saga for the last couple of years. H&R has been bringing out a whole bunch of retro AR stuff uh, in partnership with Nodak Spud, which is your company originally. You guys are one of the originators of like clone correct, vintage throwback style ARs. And the saga continues. The story is continuing to get better and better. So. What's new this year for H&R? Um, so we've been able to flesh the line out quite a bit since we talked last to SHOT Show uh, 2023. We've got uh, full size 16 inch, 635 nine millimeter. We've got the uh, 10 and a half inch uh, shorty here. Now we've only been selling uppers on these, but we're gonna come out with full pistols on these uh, with our new brace and uh, concept thing here we've got a doe style nine mil a lot of people have been asking about this um i don't have a timetable i don't have a price point this is going to happen it's just it's going to take us a while to get everything done correctly so that yeah the doe is kind of one of those like uh everybody's seen a picture of one very few people have ever actually shot one or built a successful clone of one yeah, it's got the thing that folds down <laughs> <laughs> I do I do like that. The folding front sight with the fixed carry handle is a, a bizarre choice. I don't know if that's because it's supposed to be stuck kind of through a, a hole or something. Yeah, but yeah. juxtaposition of purpose. I don't I don't get it either. We've also down here we've got a uh, 733 upper. Um, we'll probably bring that as a complete pistol also. Uh, a lot of this stuff is already on the website, already in production. Um, obviously not this one, but you know we've been running these out the door. Uh, pretty good sales on them. Uh, a lot of good feedback. They've been running good. I did a lot of work to get the nines to run correctly. Yeah, so this is like, it's not a straight up clone. You you, uh, you guys are doing the threaded barrel, which is slightly different. That. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If we came out with a non-threaded barrel, the first thing customers are gonna say is, oh, I really wish you did a threaded barrel. So we're just gonna do a threaded barrel, put a thread protector on there, and then you guys can put your cans on them. And you guys also, you changed some of the uh, internals as well, just to kind of modernize it, because the, the Colt Mag AR9 is a, old design that never got a lot of love kind of back in the yeah, day. Yeah, I, I did some extensive, when we brought the nine Colt nines back to the JJE family, I did a lot of work testing it. Um, I did some adjustments for the feed ramp, the bowl hold open, the mag catch, um, just did some stuff, did a lot of reliability testing. I had a lot of uh, different ammo, varied ammo, hollow points, heavy subs, uh, all kinds of stuff. And um, even some of those crazy 90 grain ones that are like 2,300 feet per second, those are a little scary to shoot. I don't like those, but um, did a lot of testing. And when an AR-9 is tweaked properly, especially the ejector, uh, they run. They can run. You know, it just depends on if the attention was paid to the those elements of the gun before it went out the door. Yeah, I've had my own saga with trying to get AR-9s to work, and I actually did get it to work, but uh, nobody ever follows up. So they're like. Right. How's your yeah. AR9 working and, and, these and days? Realistically, as a manufacturer, we should make sure it's right when it goes out the door and not have to, not so that the customer doesn't have to go to the internet, dig through 20 different forms and figure out what everybody's secret sauce is with flat springs and buffer lengths and buffer weights and all that stuff. Yeah. See, yeah, so you got the, the turnkey nine millimeter AR with extremely hard to find coveted clone correct furniture, that kind of stuff. That'll be pretty sweet. Uh, it's going to take a while for sure, but uh, that's definitely is one of the things that Jameis said. We're doing this, make it happen. So that's fair. Well, thanks, Mike, for walking us through this stuff. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned. We got a whole bunch more stuff coming from SHOT Show 2024.